WTMM Mechanicville, a Town Square media station. Hi, this is Mark Kessinger from ESPN Radio. Gildalyn, New York, my town. When I'm in town, I like to listen to 104.5 The Team. And now, it's time for Socially Awkward Media with LeVac and Goss. Awkward on 104.5 The Team. Socially Awkward Media, you tweet, you post, you email, sometimes you text. Please stop that. Uh, and we share <laughs> the best every Thursday right around 4 o'clock um, at the Jeff LeVac, at Tom Goz, T-O-M-G-O-Z-Z, at 104.5 The Team, the key ways to get a hold of us. Yes. Let's start it off with a new person to our Twitter follow. I guess we call it that. Illegal Hands is what they go by on Twitter. Illegal Hands tweeted you, LeVac. DeGrom for Sanchez would be disappointing. Sanchez is a below-average catcher with an okay arm with a plus arm. It isn't a slump when it's been the entire season. See Kevin Moss. DeGrom's been one of the best for the last five years and easily five-plus more in the tank. I don't know if I take those many shots at Sanchez. The Sanchez, he underranked Sanchez, and you can't guarantee five-plus years from anyone, my friend. But uh, he went on to say, like, t- I said 10 years of Sanchez. Uh, most catchers without PEDs. Blah, blah. A lot of speculation from, from Mr. Hands. Um, but I will say, like, look, he's a Mets fan. I'm a Yankee fan. He's going to value DeGrom higher. I'm going to value Sanchez higher. I'm not going to. Look, if they get DeGrom, they're a better team. Sanchez is not a below average catcher. Right now, defensively, I okay, would say. Okay, there you go. And maybe I'm being a nitpicker. He's a below average he defensive a, catcher. He, well, and he wasn't. That's what sucks. So he's a below average defensive catcher. He has a plus plus arm. I don't. I didn't. I don't think that was true. You know, what I mean, like he's he's got a cannon when he wants. But the thing is, like right now, he looks unmotivated, and it's it is a slump because we all know he's not going to hit like this the whole year. We were going through some of the AL All Star catcher and selections. Out Kevin Moss was just a low blow, right? Just a low blow. I didn't Brett Saberhagen your Jacob Degrom. If you had to go through and rank the best Matt American Harvey. League catchers, I know Sanchez is struggling, but do you make me pick five catchers right now from the American League? Sanchez is still one, two, or three for me. He's right there as a top three catcher in the American League, skill-wise, talent-wise, all that stuff. Frank wrote this in. Frank wrote in, DeGrom may be the best pitcher in baseball right now, and the Mets are wasting his efforts. In DeGrom's last three starts, he's gone seven-plus, given up one, one, and two runs, and the Mets have given him an 0-2 record. It doesn't matter if the Mets keep him or trade him. It's awful being a Mets fan. Um, it's, you know, when Todd Frazier comes out and says, we're sorry. That's so true. I, I, I think it's one of those things. Like I think, I think the Mets need to look at themselves the way the Yankees looked at them, themselves. So three years ago now? So it was 15, right? 2015 where they made yeah. the moves. Yeah. So like three years ago, you got to look at yourself and go, we're not getting it done right now. We need to replenish the farm system with controllable talent. We need to make sure that we've got cheap guys who play baseball very well on our roster, especially with the way the Will Ponds are. That's, and, and that most likely means DeGrom and or Syndergaard are, are not going to be on the team later. Ryan wrote this in. Ryan wrote in, if it's true that Draymond Green wants a super max, then the Knicks should be the first in line for that. Besides being a good player, Draymond Green would bring a mental and physical toughness to the Knicks that's been missing for almost 20 years. Agree with most of what you said, though I'm very cautious as a Knicks fan to give out that kind of money. Because it seems like almost every time the Knicks give out Maxes, Super Maxes, TJ Maxes, whatever it is, the player doesn't lead, live up to what they used to Did be. Did you say TJ Maxes? Yeah, you know, he gets okay. good deals there sometimes. <laughs> um, so I think Draymond Green, we've said, I've said this on the show, I hate Draymond Green because he's not a Nick. So I, if he ends up a Nick, I'm not going to be sad about it. But I still don't know where the points come from. A Super Max deal, too? Like, uh, is Draymond that good? He's probably still at least the if third you were best. Already, if the you were already a good offensive team and you brought him in, like if you uh, if if Neil Aquino was an offensive wonder and Porzingis was guaranteed to give you twenty a night, I'd go all in on Draymond Green. I'm not ready to say that Draymond Green, if you sign him, is going to make your team. If you're a 500 team, a team that can contend for a championship, I'll give you this: if you're like a third or fourth best team in a conference, if you're like Houston. Cleveland, kind of. Toronto, eh, I don't know if Toronto's offense was good enough. If you've got a good enough offensive team that's a top four team in the conference, Draymond puts you over the top. I don't know if he makes you a contender when you're a 500 team. The, the next, next aren't even that, by the way. No, they're not even that, right. The next one was this. 
Andrew tweeted in, now that man, Levac knows what a real playlist is. Hashtag yes indeedy. I think in reference to me yesterday playing another pop song to open the show. Oh, I thought maybe you, yeah, I thought he was saying you knew what a real playlist was. I played TLC Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls, and I got some heat on Twitter for it. I'd rather, like, yeah, my workout mix, there's a lot of Motorhead, Metallica, (laughs) some some Godsmack. I need, I need, I need charging riffs. I need to, I need to be, I need to be a little angry when I'm on the treadmill. I think we should just have our opening to our show now sung by Susan Wallman, different variations of songs. A chop of old smoke. That's what I'm talking about. John, uh-huh. all covered with cheese. The next one, one of our former coworkers tweeted into the show. He was on Big Board Sports today. Andrew Dubs Williams works Never for Sirius. XM Soccer, that guy, remember him? He tweeted to me, I guess him and Closer had a good giggle over my lunches. Did you, eat, you usually eat like a three-year-old. Now you eat like a three-year-old bird. They talked about my Lunchables, and Dubs tweeted in a picture and wrote, I just imagine Gaz like this post-wedding. A picture of Ben Stiller's character, White Goodman, at the end of the movie Dodgeball. <laughs> just food and fat everywhere. <laughs> But normally those are reserved for me. So thank you, Dubs. I'm not going to confirm or deny if that's how much food I'm going to eat either. Your wedding is going to be a massacre. Like you, Because <laughs> like I'm on a diet right now, too. So when you and I hit that wedding, it's going to be on, brother. Speaking about that, EJ had a fantastic idea. Doug should be on this. Our bosses, our sales team. EJ wrote in, I would love to see Levac and Gaz do a food review of the track at Saratoga this summer. Live feed of sampler style food. Why don't you just beg people that I don't know to call me fat on the internet, EJ? <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, the food of the the food of the track's amazing. Like it, it really is. The, the I just would live at the mac and cheese truck and Shake Shack though. That'd be the whole. You know my rule about the track and eating. I will not buy food at the track until I win a bet. So I'll use my winnings to buy the food. I don't know why I'm like that. Just one of those superstitions. I got to go hungry. It's a good diet for you. I got two from an event you did. I got three more here. Justin tweeted this to you, This is the kind of sportsmanship you like to see. They understand the glasses are getting stolen. When you did your oh. Peabody's remote on Yeah, Friday. dude, they, they've got the mason jars, and it says on it, stolen from Peabody. I, I was like, you know what? If you insist, I, I'm all in. And then <laughs> Dave, did you see what Dave wrote? No. Dave wrote it, even though they are pretty chill, lax when it comes to stealing mugs, Levac, tweeting out your plans ahead of time is not good criminal behavior, but definitely hilarious. And you can see why I'm still working for a living. But uh, um, <laughs> who's our police friend? Uh, Philly, right? We have a, we have a police friend who, who showed he showed up at, at uh, Trooper. Oh, uh, <laughs> Willie Fish. Willie Fish. He tweeted out, Levac, I'm going to need to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Willie Fish. Yeah. The last one here, I'd say the winner of this week's Socially Awkward Media comes from our pal Jamal. Jamal tweeted this in, quote, throw out the first pitch of the Subway Series at Yankee Stadium. Take off the Yankees jersey to reveal a Knicks jersey. By God, it's LeBron James' music. <laughs> LBJ to New York. Hashtag Mecca. Hashtag King of New York. Hashtag Subway Series. Oh, so, hold on. I'm sorry. You didn't do that right. By God, it's LeBron James. He's here. He's here. He's got a New York Knicks jersey on. We thought he was going back to the Cavs. He doesn't even want to be a Yankee. Pick out of money. By the way, he is online now. 104.5 so the team. Cool? D- no, Jim Ross. The oh. guy who I tried to impersonate right there. We actually had a Jim Ross interview. Yeah, Mike Pro- James got him. Yeah, producer Mike James has his interview online. 104.5 the team's YouTube page. You can see how close or how far away my impression of Jim Ross is. <laughs> and he's not yelling in the interview, which is upsetting. Yeah, well, because you didn't do the interview. See what uh, happens? That could be true. Imagine I just told him we got to yell every answer. Yeah, she just scream a lot. That'd be great. Uh, All right, man. We've had a lot of conversations about these potential trades for the Yankees. 518-476-1045. We'll give you a chance. What what do you think they should do? What do you think the Mets should get for DeGrom? Um, Buster only coming up at 515. What does he think? Basically, we're just going to have fun and, and talk about our feelings. Who do you feel the Mets should get for Jacob DeGrom? Next. You don't have to play sports to like sports. Whether you're in the game. And he's in for a jet touch now. Or just into the game. Let's go Yankees! Let's go Yankees! We are your station for all things sports. 104.5 The Team. It's time for some straight talk. Some wireless companies offer free phone deals. Sounds pretty sweet until you find yourself locked into a pricey long-term contract. Not so free after all. 
With Straight Talk Wireless, you can own the latest smartphones for a low monthly payment, and there's no contract. Cancel anytime, no penalties. Check out our wide selection of the latest smartphones at Walmart. Straight Talk Wireless, only at Walmart. This is a lease-to-own transaction. Customer will not own the device until all payments are made. Please see terms and conditions of service at straighttalk.com. Find the perfect gift for the perfect dad at Macy's and save an extra 15 to 25% with your Macy's Carter Savings Pass. Save 20% on men's Bulova, Citizen, and Seiko watches. 25 to 50% on sportswear and accessories for dad. Get cooking with grills and griddles 30% off and Martha Stewart Collection Grilling Gear 70% off. Or give a Macy's gift card and let dad choose exactly what he wants during Macy's Father's Day sale. Savings off regular and sale prices exclusions apply. Have you tried the Tackle app? Tackle is changing the way people get small jobs and chores done. It's simple and easy. Download the Tackle app, choose the chore you need completed, and Tackle will connect you with an approved provider who can tackle that chore. House cleaning, yard work, furniture assembly, and hauling off junk. Just a few of the things you can take off your to-do list. That's T-A-K-L. Download the Tackle app today. And you can turn your skills into dollar bills. For a limited time, Tackle Provider Sign Up is free in your area. Just visit Tackle.com and sign up today. Be your own boss. Choose your own schedule. Pick only the jobs you're willing to do. And most importantly, make money doing it. Join the thousands of people across America helping other people tackle their chores. Visit Tackle.com and become a Tackle Provider today. That's Tackle.com. T-A-K-L dot com. If you're not using the red key, you're probably using the wrong bank. And you're probably not making the progress you should be financially. At KeyBank, we're all about helping folks make progress. Small, easy steps anyone can take. So, let's get started, shall we? The first step to making financial progress. Open a KeyBank premium checking account and get $300 with a qualifying direct deposit. Second step. Download the KeyBank mobile app. Then your bank will be as mobile as you are. It lets you deposit checks on your phone, make transfers, and automatically pay your bills online. Why spend another day with the wrong bank? Switch to the right bank. Use the red key to make financial progress and get $300 with a KeyBank premium checking account and a qualifying direct deposit. Only at KeyBank. Service charges and balance requirements apply. Offer details at key.com slash get 300 or your local branch. Member FDIC. The golf season is upon us. Hey, quiet. I'm trying to swing here. Thank you. And there's a hidden gem right here in the Capital Region. Saratoga Lake Golf Club is a par 72 course located just minutes from Albany and Saratoga. Book your tee time today to play on one of the most relaxing courses in upstate New York. Don't forget to ask about their golf boards for a new and exciting way to play. Saratoga Lake Golf Club. Perfect for friends, family, and you. Find them online at saratogalakegolf.net. We're here at this antique mall looking for hidden treasure. You see, with the Navy Federal Cash Rewards Card, purchases give you 1.5% cash back. Like this giant neon sign. 1.5% cash back. A cuckoo clock? Yep, 1.5% cash back. Plus, there's no cap on rewards, so you can buy all the... you want. Start getting rewarded for whatever you buy today. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Open to the Armed Forces, the DOD, veterans, and their families. Navy Federal Credit.